From the prison in the Omega Dimension, the Trix escape with Valtor, spreading terror on Andros. Layla is worried and must reach the planet where she was born. those goody-goody mermaids what they deserve. First, you bursted out of the Omega Dimension, then you turned Andros into your own personal playground, and now you found the interdimensional portal? Me, to the two of us, I mean, the four of us are going to go far. Yes, farther than you could ever imagine. But we must not rush into things. I've waited long enough for this. I can wait a little while longer. Prisons made me weak, but once I've regained my power, I'll be strong enough to conquer the whole universe. A universe where we'll be able to reach every dimension through this magic portal. One by one, these kingdoms will fall, and I will absorb their magic power. I'll become the supreme master of all living things. Across the universe, my mark will spread, and the reign of Valtor will come to be. But Valtor, you're already mega powerful. It's not enough. To regain my full power, I need the magic of the Kingdom of the Sun. And lucky for me, the sun always shines on Solaria. No luck, Bloom. I I've tried every possible way to contact her. Sorry. I know you did your best, Tecna. Don't worry about it. Good try. Still no news from Layla? Nope, not a thing. Strange, isn't it? Layla seems to have just disappeared into thin air. I'm starting to worry. It's like she fell off the face of the realm. Oh, come on, girls. I'm sure she's just busy and we'll hear from her soon. Now you, off you go. 
she's not going to miss the party of the century. But my birthday is until... Oh, <laughs> you meant your party. Duh, my princess ball is tomorrow, remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were joking. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever do that again! Some things are just way too important to joke about, and my party is one of them. Oh, hey! And as far as you're concerned, the answer is no, you can't come. <laughs> so, are we ready? We'll catch up with you. We still have a couple of things to do here. Well, just don't keep me waiting too long. I'm ready. Are those your bags? Yeah, this time I decided to travel light. Buckle up, Bloom. Time to go. Celeria! Celeria! Princess! <laughs> oh, Daddy! <laughs> Your luggage, your highness. Oh, I almost forgot. Be careful, they're very delicate. <laughs> your majesty? Oh, forget majesty. Just call me King Radius. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Bloom, you are most welcome here. Stella has talked a lot about you. Make yourself at home. I'll do my best, even though my house is about a hundred rooms smaller. Oh, you'll see, you'll get used to it quickly. Wow, this is quite a castle. Come on, I'll show you to your quarters. But first, I'll give you the grand tour. And I've saved the best for last. This is the Hall of the Universe. All the galaxies of the Magic's Dimension are in here. It has always been my favorite area of the castle. Somewhere in that vast world of stars are my birth parents, Ortel and Marion, the King and Queen of Domino. My world was destroyed, turned into a cold and barren land. My people were swept away by the dark power of the Witch's Coven. But I'm still here, and so are my birth parents. I feel they are still alive, and even though finding them won't be easy, I will do it. Because while there is hope, there will always be a chance. Hey, 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 what's with this sad face and teary eyes? It's all right, Stella, I'm good. Don't forget, we're here to have fun. No frowns allowed. Think about tomorrow. It's going to be a great day, and nothing or no one is going to spoil it. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> and they're all for you? Yep, and there are four other rooms full of them. If you combined all my birthdays, I've never gotten this many presents. Well, you know, most of them are nothing. Special. Old fashioned jewels, gaudy tiaras, bulky scepters, cloaks. You I'll never snotty wear. girl, I hate you. <sighs> I tell you, a princess's life is so hard. What are you doing here? Mom, envy is not befitting of a young lady of noble bearing. But that Stella is truly detestable. I simply cannot stand that girl. Now you, you would make a much better princess of the sun and the moon. But I'll be Stella's poor little stepsister forever, won't I? King Radius will always think she's better than me. A father's love for his daughter is hard to overcome. A mother's love, on the other hand, is something that can never be suppressed. Now smile, curtains up. Dearest Stella. Uh, uh that's Countess Cassandra. She's very powerful in the royal court. Countess? Morning. Oh, here's the present I got for you. I hope you like it. Ew, very pretty. But more importantly, it's the thought that counts. My daughter chose it. She's in the advanced sorcery program at Beta Academy. Have you met Chimera? <laughs> you? You? Why, you're the dress thief! It's a small world. Ah! What's going on? I don't understand. 
there was just a tiny little bit of a misunderstanding between them back in Magix. I, I didn't steal anything, but the Princess of Solaria huh? should have any dress she wishes. I don't want to make you cry, so if you want mine, I'll just give it to you. <laughs> you keep it! I don't wear second-hand clothes! It might not look like it now, but this could very well be the beginning of a lasting and beautiful friendship. Out of my way! <laughs> Have fun while you can, Stella, because I swear I will ruin your party. Bloom, get up! It's very late! But it's dawn. Exactly. There are just ten hours left before my party, and we've got a ton of things to do. <laughs> There's my hairdo, my beauty treatment, and I need a few more outfits. You know, for the pre-party and the post-party parties. <gasps> and what do I have to do with all this? I need somebody I can ask how I look. I mean, somebody I trust. girl. I can't stand her. She's pretty, she's royal, and she's also lucky. I hate her so much, I'd give anything to be like her. Would you really? <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing in our room? I heard your call for help, and I answered. I have a proposal to make. I will give you both astonishing powers to cast charms and spells. I'll give you the chance to make all your dreams come true, ladies. My name is Valtor. I've never heard of him, Ma. Hush up! And what do you want in return, Valtor? Just a ray of sun, my lady. I simply want to bathe for a moment in the magic light that illuminates Solaria. With the power I offer you, you will be able to rule over King Radius, and you will become the new princess of the sun and the moon. Countess, just lead me to the steeple of the sun, and all this will be yours forever. Very well. Follow me. I guess I got lost. I was looking for my room. Down the stairs, end of the corridor. Huh? Hmm. <sighs> Soldiers, leave us alone for a moment. of Solaria. The source of life for this world. Ah, the heat is strong. The energy flows right through me. Ah. Ah. And now I am Now, my dear ladies, it is time for me to keep my promise. <gasps> the party. The guests are arriving. Then I'll leave you to your festivities. I must go as well. But I'm sure we'll see each other again very soon.
Hey, we're finally here. Girls, Brandon, Sky. <laughs> Bloom, you look gorgeous. Well, you're not so bad either. What about Layla? Is she not coming? We think she's still on Andros. We couldn't reach her. Stella's not with you? You'll see her soon. <laughs> wow, they really went all out for the princess ball. Wait till you see the princess. Up there, look! Welcome, my friends, and thank you all for coming. Today, my heart is full of joy and happiness because my Stella is back here among us. Today is your day, but I've got one more surprise. A surprise for me? Well, more or less. It's a surprise for the whole family, the whole of Solaria, in fact. My dearest friends, I have another announcement to make. Sorry to distract you from our royal buffet, <laughs> but I'd like to let you know that this kingdom will soon have a queen again. Cassandra, my dear? Ladies and gentlemen, in a month's time, Countess Cassandra will become my wife. <gasps> Stella, you'll soon be able to call me Mom. Why didn't you tell me about this before? Well, I, I wanted it to be a surprise. We'll get along fine, you'll see. It's difficult for her, but I'm sure Shimera will help her through it. My father ruined my party. Imagine, Cassandra and her horrible daughter are going to be my new family. Hey, look on the bright side. What bright side? Well, Shimera could have had a twin sister. Sorry if I don't laugh, but I was hoping my parents were going to get back together. But this, this is the worst thing my father could have done to me. <laughs> Stella, I brought you a little present. Thanks, I'll open it later. Put it with the others. Give that back. I'll give it to her. Don't get upset, Brandon. Stella's feeling a little distressed right now. Duty calls, sweetheart. Shall we open the ball? Enjoy your last moment of peace, little sister, because things are about to change. Days as your father's little angel are over by the power of Valtor. Change, transform, transmute. Sweetheart, what's wrong? This monster is not your daughter. Listen to my voice. This monster is not your daughter. Now do as I say. Guards, take this horrid creature away. This is not my daughter. No, Daddy. Daddy, it's me. Good job, Mother. Good job, daughter. And to think we're only just getting started. It has never rained on Solaria before! I don't get it! What happened? Don't worry, Stella. We're gonna protect you. And who's gonna protect you? They're with the monsters! Guards, get them! Alive or not! All right, girls. Magic, wait! Soldiers, take the king to a safe place. That monster is trying to attack him. Ah, ah, ah. Electro cage! Stand back! Take, them. take it easy. We don't want to hurt them. Just stop them. Hey, if this is a dance party, we need a disco ball. There they are. Let's get them. Bloom, don't stay here. Go with Stella. You go too. There are too many soldiers. Go back to the ship and prepare to leave. I have a feeling we won't be invited to the next party. I'll be happy just to get out of here in one piece. Girls! Oh no, please, don't look at me. I'm too ugly. Stella, I, I didn't mean to. 
to scream. Someone cast a spell on you. Any idea who could have done that? We'll figure that out later. Let's just go. My father. I have to see my father. He has to know I'm not a monster. Your father was scared, Stella. That's why he said what he did. There's a ton of them! Wrapping Ivy! Girl, we've got wings. What do you say we use them? They won't be able to reach us. Where does this tower lead? To the aviary. This time they're trapped. But they don't know it yet. I'll start up the magic platform. We'll beat them to the top easily. Uh, girls, can you speed it up a bit? Why? Are you in a hurry? Not me, but that thing down there is moving faster than us. Hey, Sky, you think that the girls will be able to find a way out of the palace, huh? Knowing those girls, they'll get out of there without even a single scratch. Oh. Prepare for impact. Hurry up! The soldiers are catching up with us fast! Right here! Come on, girls, let's fly! Get the monster! It will tell us what they did with Princess Stella! Everyone ready? Countess Cassandra and her wicked daughter Chimera have won. Stella's life has turned into a nightmare, and only the Winx can wake her from it. If you're a Winx, there's a place for you. Meet a thousand friends to share your dreams and faith. If you're a Winx, you can never lose. If you trust your heart, you will never Let's go.